Um, let's talk a little bit about the Penny Moors and let's specifically talk about the thing I want to know, which is because I've never written a book. How does it feel to finally launch the book? What's it feel like for you, Quinn, to finally launch it? Um, good so that other people can read it. Yeah. What do you think, Parker, the book finally being out now? Why does even have to be in? <laughs> I think we're all pretty excited. I mean, you know, I think it's one of those things. Like, this book started actually in uh, January 1, 2021 as a bedtime story. And mm -hmm. so I think for kids to sort of see this entire journey all along the way has been pretty wild to watch. Um, I think we're all kind of excited to sort of see this phase. And we're already now starting to play in book number two. So it's crazy to think, like, this is just the start of this crazy journey. And now we're on to book number two. Wow. I love it. I mean, you know, one of the things I've loved about watching this journey for you all is the fact that it was such a an organic experience and such a, a family bonding opportunity. Do you feel like it's brought you closer together as a family to have this shared narrative and world that you've built together? I mean, there are moments. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not right this moment necessarily. I think it's been fun. So it's been really interesting. Like you got, you actually see, we, uh, we kind of tried to come with all these fun things. Like we've got uh, like all these extra projects here. Like we got like a, a writing journal that Quinn um, kind of put together so that she could use it to write. Tell them about the writing journal a little bit that you made. Why do we make a writing journal? Um, so um, people can write down different stories. Yeah. So we figured that like, you know, we're teaching about writing and the story. So we want to give people a chance to kind of, again, write. So we did this as well. Like, so I think that's been cool. Like it's not just the book, but all these other pieces from it and all this other stuff that's been really fun to do together. I love that. I, I love the, uh, and one of the things I've really enjoyed about uh, being on the sidelines over the last few weeks is watching your super events where you dig really into the process and understanding sort of what drove you to certain creative choices in the book. Is there one thing that you're sort of your own lesson that you've learned in the process of writing this one that you're going to take to the next book? I think like the, I think for me anyways, and Quinn, Quinn's actually been hosting these uh, writing workshops for the last four weeks. Yeah. And I think for me, what was really interesting is I think to, to say, if you kind of like do this collaboratively, the stories are so much better. Like Quinn's been working on this story that over the last few weeks. And I think for you, it's been fun to see how good it's gotten um, over the process. Is that, what have you thought of kind of like doing these workshops? Quinn? <laughs> um, that was for you, what Quinn. Have, what have you thought of the workshops, doing the workshops the last four weeks or six weeks? Um, I liked it because we got to make up our own places. Mm. Yeah. And so I think that's well, been neat. I think to spread, and I think particularly we've had some amazing kids who we'll get to meet soon who've all been on some of these sessions. And so uh, you'll hear some of them and their stories that they're working on too. So my hope is that this book is, is a fun one, but that we actually foster some more books written by some of the actual uh, plumes that we have in this entire group. Awesome. Well, I can't wait. I mean, I really, I really hope that we get to see some, you know, maybe more Penny Moore books in the Penny Moore universe, but also some really great creative original ideas from some of the folks doing the workshop work. I can't wait. I think it's going to be good. I'm, I, I have to apologize because I'm a little distracted because so many people have been giving to, to the Malala Fund. We're almost at a thousand dollars, which is not at all what we said. I mean, we That's thought crazy. maybe 500. This is in, insane. You are all spectacular supporters and we could that not means, be more that thankful. means we're donating a hundred almost a hundred books to uh libraries and uh low income in uh schools that don't have libraries so a thousand, a thousand uh, that's it oh no a hundred books there it is there we go wow this is amazing i have to say like that's i i am i'm blown what? away look at that that's so awesome one thousand yes we have we have a hundred books that are donated to schools all across How the country a thousand seventy dollars so far that's over that's literally a hundred books have been donated quinn a hundred a <laughs> hundred one hundred give us your happy dance show us your happy quinn dance here the quinn penny more happy dance to, don't i have to be on the ground no just give us your dance give us your just give like a little like you know yeah <laughs> i love it um well, we've, and I want to be clear, there's no obligation to donate. Anybody who's donating, all. we really love and appreciate that. Um, for those that are joining us who would like to add on, uh, we're going to keep increasing it just to see, you know, as much as we can donate to the Malala Fund. But I want to just be clear, no obligation on anybody's part. That's right. We are very appreciative of those that do. So and thank all you the donations that. do go to benefit. Those are buying books for kids in schools uh, around the country, Logan schools, which is exciting. I love it. 